Okay, in this video here, I think we're ready to actually build maybe one of our first sort of useful functioning electronic projects of this whole video sequence here. And let's see what it's going to be. It's going to be an Arduino heat alarm. So what we want to do is we want to make the Arduino turn a light bulb on, turn the light on if the temperature gets too hot. The way we're going to do this is we're just going to use some things that we've used before. So the first thing we're going to have is an LED here with a resistor protected from getting blown out. So I have a 100 ohm resistor a brown black brown here just in series with this resistor here it'll be a blue one there okay sort of going in there it's a clear case kind of hard to see on the video but there it is this is going to be the light we're going to have the Arduino turn on and we saw how to turn on an, Ar an LED using the Arduino in the last video using a digital write statement there we'll do the same thing here but now for our temperature sensing bit we're going to use a thermistor and another resistor here sort of in its own voltage divider over here so the resistor that I've chosen is a red 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 a 2200 ohm resistor here sort of forming the voltage divider with a thermistor here so what we want to do is we want the thermistor as the things get hot its resistance will change and as we've seen in this idea of voltage dividers that we've discussed several times in this video here as the resistance of the thermistor changes the voltage across the center point is going to change that's going to be our clue to the temperature and so what we're going to do then is you know that the Arduino has these mar this marvelous ability of, to do two things for us one is it has the analog input lines here which makes the Arduino sort of behave like a voltmeter we can read voltages in on these analog lines and then we have this four, these 14 digital lines that we're able to sort of on command send 5 volts out to a circuit okay so what we're going to do is we're going to monitor the voltage on this voltage divider in this case here between the center and the other end of the thermistor I'll just start saying the voltage across the thermistor but keep in mind it's half of a voltage divider we'll monitor the voltage here and when it gets below a certain point or above a certain point, we'll diagnose that in a second here, we'll assume it's getting really hot and we'll tell the Arduino using a digital output line to turn an LED on and that's how our source is going to work. So let's just get going then. So first thing we'll do is let's get the circuit powered up. Now I'm not going to use the 9 volt battery we've been, I've been using throughout the whole video sequence here because we want to power on the Arduino, power on the 5 volts. So the first thing I'll do is I'll sort of connect the ground to one of the GND lines on the Arduino over here to get ground and then to 5 volts here I'll connect that to the other side of the voltage divider. So essentially all I've done here is I'm just powering the whole voltage divider, the thermistor resistor voltage divider here with 5 volts from the Arduino. So that's going to be my power. Okay? It's very important to do this because remember we're going to tap into the center point here to monitor the voltage which would be an indicator of temperature and we also have to make sure we're under 5 volts for the Arduino. So it's, as long as we use 5 volts to power the whole thing, we can never exceed that 5 volts and we'll be safe. So it's always best to power Arduino circuits on the Arduino directly, or if you're using an external power supply, make sure it's 5 volts. Okay, so there we go. That's on. Let's just do a few checks now to make sure things are sort of working. We like to sort of check things as we go. So here's the voltmeter here. So what I'll do is I'll use this 9-volt uh, battery clip that we have here for the Arduino to power it up. Again, we're not going to power directly the breadboard the way we've been doing. So we'll do this. And so now the Arduino should be on, and this pin labeled 5 volts should be at 5 volts. So what we'll do, let's just monitor our voltage now across the voltage divider and see if it's 5 volts. And it is. Good. 5 volts. So the voltage divider is getting power. Now what we want to do is let's just move this clip. Instead of monitoring the voltage across the whole voltage divider, let's just look across the thermistor because the thermistor is the element that I'm sort of curious about that's going to be the change when the temperature comes in that's why we're curious about that voltage so just to test it now if I pinch the thermistor in my hand to heat it up see the voltage is going down going down like that and so to really get something nice and hot in there let's just say if I pinch it with my hand I can get it to go to go about as low as I don't know it looks like about 3.7 volts or so and then it sort of stops so I want to notice and see if something gets really hot, like a match or something. So it looks like the voltage goes down the hotter the thermistor gets. So we'll sort of check for a so-called set point at about 1.5 volts or so. Okay, so when, when the thermistor gets so hot that the voltage across it becomes 1.5 volts, then let's turn on that LED alarm. Let's make this LED glow over here. Okay, so probably the first thing we should do then is get our monitoring point here, which is going to be this center point here right where I'm monitoring the voltage let's go ahead and take this off now because I think I'm understanding how the voltage of the thermistor is going to change for us here and again I'm shooting for one and a half volts for a good set point for the temperature take a nice long white wire here and run that 
from the center point of the voltage divider, this is exactly the same point I was just running the meter at, all the way over here to analog input zero. So what happens now is, I'm, as, as you've seen in previous videos, I'm now using the Arduino as a voltmeter. I'm going to read the voltage at this center point on analog input zero like that. Okay. Let's just pause in the action just for a bit here to see if we can sort of understand what we're going to do and why we're doing this. This is the code here that we're going to sort of put in the Arduino and have it run to get our heat alarm sort of working here. So let me just describe to you what it is here. So pin 5 is going to be an output pin. That's what we're going to try and run that LED on, just like we did in a previous video, something like that. There's pin 5 for you there. Okay. And then what we're going to do is in our loop here, we're going to have a couple variables. We've used these before. I'm going to read the, the voltage coming into analog input 0. I'm going to do an an, a di digital to an, analog to digital conversion. So remember, A will be a number between 0 and 1024. Coming in there. And then what I'll do in this line V here, I'm going to convert that directly to a voltage by doing this little formula here where I do the A divided by 1024 to scale the raw converted value to a number between 0 and 1 and then multiply that by 5 because 5 is the maximum voltage the Arduino will expect. That way V will be actually the voltage. That will correspond to the voltage I was reading here on the voltmeter. Remember I want the voltage on the thermistor across the thermistor to drop under 1.5 volts so I sort of need to know what the voltage is going to be. So what I'll do then is I'll just start an if statement. I'll say, look, if the voltage I just read from analog input 0 is less than 1.5, that's, again, what I'm sort of seeing, how I'm sort of seeing the thermistor behave, then I'm going to just do a digital write pin 5 high. And because pin 5 is going to be connected to my LED here, it'll make the LED glow. But I have this else statement here that if V is not less than 1.5, in other words, it's 1.5 or greater, or it's just too cool, I want to make that output low, in other words, have the LED off. Okay, so code just like this is what I'm going to put in there, and so you can see by monitoring the voltage at the center point between the resistor and the thermistor into analog input zero, it sort of makes this line work here, doesn't it? This is sort of the temperature monitoring line right there. This is constantly reading the voltage on input to the Arduino from the voltage divider formed by the resistor and the thermistor here, and the rest is just some basic logic in there. So let me just continue wiring then here to get this thing going here. The video is getting kind of long. So I'll go from digital output 5, that's where we're going to use the digital out on, if I can get this to go in. 5 is right there. I'll run it into the resistor, the 100 ohm protection resistor. Then I'll have my ground right here going into the other side of the LED like that. Okay. So believe it or not, the circuit's more or less done like that. And just a bit of re recap right here. This half of the circuit right here that you see is just the resistor and the LED, just like in the last video, connected to pin 5 and ground. So if pin 5 ever becomes high or 5 volts, the LED will come on. But I'm not just turning it on blindly the way I did in the last video here. I only want to turn it on if the voltage at this point in this voltage divider form between the resistor and the thermistor goes below 1.5 volts. So I have the voltage divider powered on 5 volts, the center point, which is where the voltage of interest is, in, is, is via this white wire routed in analog input zero. Let's see what happens. I'll go ahead and connect the battery now. So here we go. Okay, the Arduino should be on. We can do just one more quick check of things here. Let's make sure of a couple things. Do we see five volts across the voltage divider? Yes, we do. Do we see some voltage here across the thermistor? 3.95 and when I pinch it does it start to go down yes it does okay so I don't have anything sort of on my person here to make the thermistor so hot to exceed excuse me or go below go below 1.5 volts so let me just move a few wires out of the out of the way and what I'll do now is on this thermistor here which is the thing that's going to get hot I'll just strike a match near it okay and I'll hold the match near it and I'm going to expect that voltage across the ther thermistor to go down and down and down and hopefully when it, it when it goes below 1.5 volts the LED will come on and there's my alarm so I'll just sort of light the match and let's watch what happens here I'm having trouble lighting this match here that one's not going to work let's get another one there we go okay I finally got it lit let's hold it near the thermistor Let's hope that voltage is going down. So here we go. Maybe I should have left. There we go. I see it already got it hot already. Now if I move it away, the thermistor should cool off again. The LED should go off. Hopefully it'll do that at some point. 
There, it went off again. Now let me heat it up again. See if that gets that voltage drop below one point. There it goes on again. I'm just losing the match. Perfect timing. And it cooled off again. So the LED is going off. So there you go. Project is complete. We have a sort of Arduino temperature alarm. The Arduino in this project here will make that LED come on. If the voltage across the thermistor goes below 1.5 volts, which seems to correspond to a pretty hot match fire-like temperature.